You want it? The only thing I need. We've got it. The only thing I choose. More choice. The only thing that looks good on me is you. I say, I say, let's get down to some action. He must be joking. Television with attitude. Now, a look at life in the fast lane of the information superhighway. Surf the internet with Wingham Rowan and Anna Damsky at the Cyber Cafe. Tonight, comics Dave and Danny say they're proud to be nerds. They're here to tell us why computer geeks are more fun than most people realise. Warring Tories on the net. Angus and Julian have been arguing about John Major for months. Tonight, they meet for the first time. And what kind of information does the net have for practical jokers? Timmy Mallet drops in to find out. Yes, more intelligent, thoughtful people who have discovered the internet. Plus tonight, Timmy Mallet. I'm Wingham Rowan. You're watching Cyber Cafe. Well, Anna, another week, another challenge. Brace yourself. Oh, yes, I am. Let's have it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And hey, it is? This is going to be funny. Find the most imaginative fantasies on the net. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Keep your internet friends out of this. This was set by the uh, evil-minded but highly skilled say? technicians working on Cyber Cafe. Yeah, they just no. want some ideas, no. isn't that right? <laughs> and they, well, they came to the right place, right. didn't they? Do you know where you're going to start? I am going to, I'm going to start in my head. Yeah, well, that's what we're really, really afraid of. We'll be back later to find out just exactly what Anna has come up with. So, how, how competent is John Major? Angus thinks he's completely useless. Julian thinks he's the best Prime Minister Britain has ever had. And they've been rowing about it for months on the net. They're about to meet for the first time ever. Come on, here you come. Right, what's the story of how the two of you first met on the net? How we first met on the net? Well, I think the very first message I posted had the title, John Major is a Pratt. And in it, I set out why I think John Major is a Pratt. And you were one of the people who replied to it. So what did you say? I, I can't remember the first message. I, although I remember my first message, John Major is a very good prime minister, the best we've had. Uh, they sort of merged all of them into one, I think, all these different posts. Right. Angus, you're a physics student. You post about 10, 15 messages a day to the internet. Well, I had a how does it all fit into your life? Well, I had a look at one of these search uh, things where you can search and see how many messages you've posted. It's about 2,000 for this year. It's a lot, uh, but I try to make sure it doesn't eat into the time I'm supposed to be spending studying or in the laboratory or anything. And Julian, your um, commitment to the internet is very glossy. You've set up the UK politics yep, pages. Page. It's got yeah. very impressive links to local councils, a lot of electoral data, uh, information on parties uh, around the country. Why did you do it? It started off as an advertisement for Keel Conservatives to get people into the Keel Conservatives webpage. And then it grew and grew, and we had hundreds of links and electoral results. And so it moved to the Department of Politics, and ever since then, it's been growing and growing. Yes, it's become something of a internet tourist site. Right, well, the first point is how competent John Major is. And you have completely di uh, differing views on this. Uh, Angus, uh, my favourite quote was, uh, his incompetence is unbelievable. Go on, justify that. Gosh, I'm wondering when I made that. I'm sure I did. Oh, I'm yes, sure you did. your research is very good. Well, if you look at what he's doing at the moment, he seems to have his cabinet firing off ideas in all directions, left, right and centre. In the you hope can butt in on this, Julian. You know, don't don't <laughs> in feel the hope you've just got to sit in silence. In the hope of hitting the country's sweet spot. But he hasn't managed it. I, mean, he's I think we look at the Prime Minister and look at what he's done over the economy, especially in the last five years. We have low interest rates and low inflation and a very strong economy with rising exports all the time. But and people those, are feeling better off. In those six years, he's doubled the national debt. National debt has risen under a lot of prime ministers. We have to, there was a recession. He had to fund that recession. Okay. Well, um, that's very interesting. But just tell me how it works on the net for the two of you. Do you type in your messages out of a feeling of real passion? Because you obviously completely disagree with each other. I mean, do you get incensed when you see each other's latest messages? Every on the now net? and then, I'll see a message from Julian. There was one um, to do with the police pepper sprays, 
Um, oh, yeah, I, I should mention that there's also um, a real ding-dong going between the two of you on the question of law and order, mm. and you actually called Julian Jackboot Jules on the net, which is a bit unkind. Carry on. Yeah. Pepper sprays. So there was uh, a message about the police pepper sprays where I said, you know, they've only killed one person so far, so let's give them to all the police forces. And, you know, the problem with them is if anybody with asthma or a heart condition is got by the pepper spray, they're in really deep trouble. And I think Julian replied saying, oh, well, they know the risk before they commit the crime. And that, uh, I find, is quite incredible. We have to defend the police, and if it's a good way of doing it, we should look into it. And there were trials, and they were shown to be fairly successful, and so they've been expanded. Do you think arguing over the net changes anything? Does it achieve anything? Uh, it gives me satisfaction of doing at least something, uh, because I don't like seeing John Major continually abused and insulted when I think he's doing a good job. I think it's important that at least somebody tries to stand up for him. Because there aren't that many people that are prepared to try on the net, so it's nice to try and do something. So, now you've met in the flesh, are you going to have a drink together? I don't see why not. I certainly don't see why not either. <laughs>